Bugs check in, but they don't check out. Hey guys, it's Chris with Tech5. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to get side quest and how to side load different applications onto your Quest 2. It's a fantastic application. I recommend it for anyone that has a Quest. You do not have to have a gaming PC in order for this to work. It could be any type of PC. If you got a PC, you can do this. So don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's get into it. Our first step is going to be enabling developer mode on the Oculus app. So get your smartphone out, connect to your Oculus Quest via the app, and turn on developer mode. And once that's done, we'll move to the PC. Let's do it. So you got developer mode turned on on your Oculus app. So now you're gonna go to dashboard.oculus.com. Got a link in the description, you go there. It should pop you up at this screen. And from there, you'll go to create a new organization. You can type in literally whatever you want, doesn't matter. Agree to the terms and click submit. I've already done it, so I'm not gonna actually do it right there, but that's what you'll do. Next, you wanna uh, download the ADB drivers. I'll leave a link in the description for you, so you'll take you right to this. You'll agree to the terms, and click download. If you are doing this on a Mac or Linux, you won't actually have to follow this step. So you'll get it extracted. You'll click the folder you extracted wherever you want to do it. USB driver and Android Win USB. And we'll install that. Once that's installed, go ahead and restart your computer. From there, you're going to go to SideQuest VR. Com. I'll actually leave a link for that as well in the, in the description. I'm gonna get SideQuest. Whatever one applies to you, whatever PC uh, OS you're running, whether that be Windows, Mac, or uh, Linux, go ahead and download that. You'll get your corresponding one. You'll go through the prompts there, start to download that. actually have it downloaded already and installed but so you guys can see you'll tell it to run and then this will be side quests that we have here so it will give you some prompts at the beginning. Um, so you'll want to accept those inside the headset. You'll uh, have to tell it to allow the debugging and whatnot. So you'll accept those. And then you should be good to roam around SideQuest. And guys, there's, there's a lot on this app. There's a ton, a ton of different games. It's honestly, some pretty good ones. Pavlov. Physics Playground, Hyperdash, all these things, and to my knowledge, they don't even cost money. There's a bunch of free games on here. There's a ton, and more being added continuously. So, this is a good app to have, irregardless. I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna get this Pokemon game and put it on mine, and it's super easy. So, I just clicked on it right there, and I'm just gonna tell it to install the headset and my headset's plugged into it right now, so it's installing the app, or starting the install, and it'll cycle, you'll see that up here, it's running a task, you can see that it's running that, and when it's done, it's done, it's on there. Guys, there's so many benefits to actually installing this onto your PC. There's so many applications that are free that are just amazing. And there, there is some paid content, but guys, there's so continuous, a continuous stream of free games coming to this thing. And not to mention the performance increases you can actually attain with SideQuest, which I actually have a video about right here if you want to check that out. But there's just so many games. It really is like here, like 
I don't know if you guys are fans of Doom, but... Let's see, where did Doom go? Quest Doom. This isn't an official game, but you can get it for free on side quests. And this is like the old school Doom. I don't know if you guys have ever played that, but... I mean, they turned this into a little VR port. You guys get the idea you know that that's the kind of capabilities you're gonna have here with the side quests because there's so many more applications on this thing I'm telling you there's it feels like an infinite number of different free games that you can get and there's some really good ones so not too difficult but that's how you do it so real fast I'm gonna show you how you can access those applications that you've installed with side quest onto your headset so you're just gonna go to the applications button. In the top right corner, you should be able to click the drop down and go to unknown sources or unknown apps. And they'll be right there for you. And that's it guys. I think SideQuest is an amazing platform. I feel like it's really given other developers a chance to put their work out there and really get it noticed where it may not have otherwise. So I applaud them for that. It's a great place and it's really spawned some really fantastic free content. And I, I, I encourage you to check it out, explore, see what that app has to offer because there's so much there really is. Now, that's going to do it for the video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope this was informative. And uh, if you did get confused along the way, please don't hesitate to send me a message or a comment or whatnot. I'll definitely try to help you out, get you all fixed up if I can. Hope you can like, it helps the channel a ton. It just helps me continue to make content and I, I really would like to build something great here for you guys and hope you guys wanna be a part of it. So I hope you can like, I hope you can subscribe. And if not, I hope to catch you in another one. And remember, it's a vibe, a tech vibe specifically. We'll see you.